Rainbow Six Siege is changing. I know you may not like it, or maybe you're ready for a change. Who knows? But whether you like it or not, if you're going to keep playing this game, you have to be ready. That's what this video is all about. I want to create a roster for the 10 best operators to bring in year 9 of Rainbow Six Siege. We're going to list 5 attackers and 5 defenders. And of course, I'll explain exactly why you should bring them. Let's get into it. Let's start with what makes an operator good in year 9. First off, with most of the operators having an ACOG, you're going to want to be running someone with good optics. Second, the operator has to have strong utility and overall a good gadget. I have hope that the meta will shift from the TDM era. I think we're going to be seeing a weird mashup of TDM and the utility meta. Sure, there's always going to be fraggers, but you have to have a strategy which was the whole point of this game in the first place, a strategic first-person shooter. So the strongest operators this year are going to be those who can dance in both worlds. Our first defender is a great example of this, Goyo. Goyo has been one of the strongest operators on defense since his release. Now, he used to have three extra deployable shields along with his canisters. That was a crazy time. But even with his rework, he stands as one of the best entry denial defenders in the game. And now, he has an ACOG. The Vector is already an insane gun with an insane fire rate and pretty controllable recoil, at least on PC. Altogether, Goyo can waste up to a minute and 20 seconds with all of his canisters. With some good placements and team coordination, the attackers can't really do anything if they take too long to, you know, attack. He also brings impacts for rotates, osa shields, rams, and even to set off his canisters in a pinch. Goyo is taking the first defending spot on our year 9 roster. So an operator has to have a good gun, a good gadget, and good utility. So it only makes sense that Yana is our first attacker on this roster. Yana has been abused for the entirety of year 8. The G36C is a menace of a weapon. It did just get a recoil nerf, but it's super manageable. And now, it too has an ACOG. Check! She also brings nearly infinite droning capability to the board, something she's always had but has been underutilized by the TDM fiends who just want to run in. Having infinite drones makes it so you can find traps easier, the locations of defenders, and honestly, it pairs well with Deimos. When you ping a gadget that belongs to a specific defender, it will then show the defender to Deimos. This makes it so Deimos, or anyone else, doesn't have to waste their drones. Good gadget, check. Alongside this insane gadget, she brings a Gon 6 for clearing defender utility. Kiba barriers, maestro cameras, bulletproof cameras, castle barricades, the list goes on. And to top it off, she has stuns, which are infinitely better than the new frag grenades. Good utility? A check. Overall, Yana is going to be a menace in year 9. Now let's talk about someone who doesn't have an ACOG, but still has a really strong primary shotgun and one of the best gadgets in the game. You know who I'm talking about. Yes, Mute is our second defender to make the roster. If you aren't bringing Mute almost every defending round, what are you doing? Mute not only counters the new operator, but more than 50% of the other attackers as well. Mute doesn't need an ACOG. He has that dog in him. He brings the best secondary weapon in the game, the SMG-11, one of the best gadgets in the game, and even has a nitro cell to top it off. Again, if you haven't been playing Mute, now is a great time to start. This next operator isn't really a must pick, but if you're going to roam with Deimos on the board, you need Vigil. Vigil is our third defender, and I feel that he is slept on. If you know how to roam really well, Vigil is your guy. Getting buffed a few months back, making his cloaking device more like Solus's gadget, and the way that it won't turn off if you shoot your gun or interact with the map. This was a pretty significant buff for Vigil players, and he is also the direct counter to Deimos. While his cloak is active, Deimos can't track him, drones can't see him, and Lion can't scan him. Vigil is the perfect roaming operator. The K1A is a pretty decent gun, it doesn't have an ACOG, and it kind of lacks in the fire rate department, but it also has zero recoil. So if you have good aim, you have no problem. Vigil also brings impacts to the board, as well as two decent secondaries the SMG-12, and the C-70. Overall, Vigil is a good pick to offset Deimos and the rest of the attacking team. The next attacking operator to take a spot in our roster for year 9 is going to make the TDM folks pretty pee. Ash having her ACOG back is great and all, but she isn't the only one with the R4C anymore. Ram also has it. If you want to run into the building and die instantly, Ash is probably your go-to. But if you want to bring the same gun, more utility, and overall more value to your team, bring Ram. Ram's gadget is like the signal jammer of attackers. It counters nearly everything. Castle barricades, mirror windows, Capcan traps, Jaeger ADSs, 
Bandit batteries, frost mats, goo mines, mozzie pests, goyo canisters, banshees, kiba barriers, razor blooms. It can destroy soft walls, destroy an entire floor in one go. And it's almost completely bulletproof. So if we're bringing ash over ram in 2024, get a grip. Ram also brings a secondary shotgun for rotates or to open even more vertical play. On top of that, she brings flashes, which again, are basically the new nades. What can Ash do, realistically? She can blow up two castle barricades, two maestro cameras, one castle barricade and one maestro camera. Ram has four of her boogies. I didn't even mention that when Ram's gadget is active, it breaks the sound barrier. You could get into the other team's VC, say where you are, and they still couldn't hear you coming. Overall, in my opinion, that is supported by concrete facts, Ram is a better pick than Ash this year. Moving on, even with the new changes coming to Azami this season, she's still one of the best defenders out there. She can reshape the map at will. She's a literal earthbender. Regardless if attackers' bullets can break them or not, it still gives you a fair window of time to get out of a bad situation or stop and kill that attacker. Azami brings free cover to the table with two great primary weapons. If you lean towards automatic weapons, she has Capcan's SMG. It doesn't have an ACOG, but it's still a pretty good weapon overall. If you like DMRs that are labeled as shotguns, she's got one of those too. Personally, I'm taking the DMR shotgun, which does also have an ACOG. On top of that, she has the Deagle, a classic gamer's weapon, a very elegant choice. And on top of that, she also brings impacts. Those alone have so many benefits, of which I talked about earlier in the video. Check, check, and check. Azami in the roster. With this upcoming meta shift, Intel and support operators are going to be essential for winning rounds. Operators like Sense, Grim, Monty, Gridlock, Flores, and so many others are overlooked. But I think Zero especially has been buried in recent seasons. Zero is arguably the best solo queuing attacker in the game. I'll tell you why. He brings Intel, can get rid of wall denial gadgets like Bandit Batteries, Cave Claws and Mute Jammers. He has a secondary hard breach, utility clearage with the Gon 6, and two amazing weapons. Everyone loves the MP7, and Zero has had a 1.5 on it for a long time. He's now getting an ACOG with it, as well as the SC Hook, which is a gun exclusive to Zero. The amount of information you can get for your team is insane. You don't even have to leave your spawn on a lot of maps to get insane camera spots. Bank, for example, is my favorite map to play zero on. Just from spawn, I can get two major cam spots while also getting rid of defender cams. Then for my third cam, I just have to take control of square to get one in the long hallway, which then covers every single flank that the defenders could pull off on the top floor bomb site. And I'd still have a camera left over. I can't count how many times these specific zero cams have won us attacking rounds on bank. There are plenty of other strats just like this one on plenty of other maps. Zero has definitely earned a spot on the year nine roster. Another great choice, or should I say choices, are Nomad and Gridlock. You only need one, but both are great at what they do. They can be used passively or aggressively depending on the situation you're in. Gridlock's gadget works great for covering the sound of a plant while simultaneously making it so you can't get instantly pushed while you're planting. Nomad is great at letting defenders think they're getting a great flank, but in reality, they get sent back to the gulag pretty quickly. Both have great guns that all have ACOGs. Gridlock even has the quickest reloading LMG in the game, which all recently got a recoil buff, and Nomad's ARX is a really well-balanced AR. Nomad also brings stuns while Gridlock brings smokes. They are both used for the same purpose, but do it in different ways. Making them a preference pick at the end of the day, they are both fantastic operators for year 9, and both will take a slot in our attacking roster. For our last best defender spot on this roster, it comes to a tie between Tubby and Aruni. The reason? ACOGs on DMRs on defense are insane. Both of their abilities are very good, and Aruni's passive ability, being able to make rotates and head holes or foot holes or whatever you want for free, is absolutely broken. Tubby can help deny walls and hatches from being opened at a distance, as well as a long list of other things that he stops. He's also another counter to Deimos. Again, the main reason they tie is because both their DMRs are insane. It comes down to what the team needs most or what you prefer. DMRs are broken this season. You really need to abuse them before they inevitably get a nerf. And now, our last attacking operator. A lot of you have probably been wondering where Deimos is on this roster. Let me break some bad news to you. Deimos is not that good, at least for the casual ranked player who doesn't know every room on every map. And that's okay. 
I can't wait to see what they do with Thamos in the pro league where they do know the best ways to use him. Because fundamentally, he is a good operator, but I think logistically, it won't work because of general player knowledge or lack thereof. So instead of Deimos, who could I pick? I was thinking about Dokubi, but I think she gets banned too much to be considered for an entire spot on the roster. But if she's not banned, you should pick her. So who is an undervalued operator that has a good gun with an ACOG, a good gadget, and good utility? I think this has to be Capitao. Capitao is so underappreciated, and there's so many strategies that he fits into. The Para 308 with an ACOG feels utterly amazing. Also, with the new angled grip attachment, the weird reload animation that the Para has and has had for years now feels a lot better. It's one of my favorite guns to use right now. And his crossbow brings flank denial with the flame bolts and plant coverage with the smoke bolts. It's a great two-in-one gadget. He also brings a Gon 6 for all that pesky defender utility and also hard breaches or claymores. Overall, I think Capitao is a great operator for the last spot in our year 9 operator roster. And with that, our roster is complete. I'm not saying these are the only good operators in the game. I'm simply implying it. No, I'm kidding. But on a real note, if you're just coming into Siege with the release of Year 9 Season 1, play whoever you want. Every operator in this game has a use. Except Blitz. Don't play Blitz. I'd rather hold up a paper mache box in front of me than use Blitz. It'll protect me more. And if you're not a new player, but just looking for some suggestions of who's good and fun to play in the upcoming season, well, you just watched the perfect video. Speaking of, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below who you're looking forward to playing this season and leave a like while you're at it. I appreciate you all, and as always, I'll see you in Ranked.